Hello, what is up everyone? My name is Sagar and welcome back to my channel and today I am going to show you how you can create these types of bouncing button in Flutter app. So without wasting any time, let's start the video guys. So first of all, I am going to import a material file in it and after that I am going to write void main run app and my app and I'm going to create a stateful widget give it a my app name and after that we are going to create a animation so I am going to write a single ticker provide mixin because uh, I'm going to create an animation controller so animation controller I'm going to write a controller and I'm going to after that I'm going to write a init state so after we are going to remove this line and I am going to write everything in the control so I'm going to write animation controller property and I'm going to give a vsync this after that i'm going to give a duration so duration property as a millisecond of 200 okay and i'm going to give a lower bound of 0, 0.0 and an upper bound to 0 0.1 okay and i'm going to write add listener so add listener will say the set state and i am going to write set state empty okay i am not going to write anything in a set state and after that i am going to create a material app material app in in the material app i am scaffold scaffold with body and i'm going to give a column because i need to write a text also okay so text so i'm going to write a text as a tab on the below button okay so, and i'm going to give a space like a height of 20 and i'm going to write a uh, center we want our um, button into a center so i'm going to write a gesture detector so i'm going to create a one widget for ui widget for animation animated ui okay animated button ui okay so i'm going to write a container first in the container i am going to give a height of 70 and width of 200 and in the container they are providing us a decoration so box decoration uh, as a border radius okay so border radius circular is 100 and we are giving a value as a hundred and what is that and after that i am going to write a uh, box shadow we are going to give a shadow so box shadow mm. before box shadow we need to give a square bracket so box shadow box shadow so box shadow has a property of color so i'm going to write a box shadow color as a 0x 1 1 2 3 4 0 ff okay so this is a gray color okay and offset property of offset as a 0 point from 0, 0.0 starting and 5.0 okay and after that i am going to give a radius of 30 okay so box shadow is completed after that i am going to give a color so 
color will be no gradient we need to write a gradient so linear gradient okay so it will give a linearly gradient color okay so i'm going to write a first color so first color will be first color will be 0 x 1 2 3 0 0 oh sorry we need to change this 0 x 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay and we are going to write ff 30 and ff okay so this is the blue color okay uh, okay blue color and after that i am going to write a red color so 0x 1 2 3 0 0 okay i am going to check it okay after that i am going to check this color is right or wrong okay so we just created a color and after that after that we are going to write a begin so the gradient color is begin from alignment top left and it is going to end in alignment dot bottom right okay so bottom right and so linear gradient is completed so we need to write a child property so in the child we are going to write a text as a tab so we need to give a style to this text so text style as a color so i'm going to write a white color so colors dot white and i'm going to write a wet font wet will be bold okay and um, font size will be 30 okay font size will be 30 and uh, okay so everything has been done we just created this animated button and after that i am going to write a on tap property okay so void on tap down so tap down details details as a control dot forward okay and same for a up okay so on tab up so tab up details okay so details and i'm i'm going to write a controller dot reverse okay reverse okay so we are going to uh, write this property into this gesture control so it is providing us a on tap down on tap down and after that i am going to write on tap up okay so on tap up and after that i am going to write a transform scale because we want to animate our button okay so transform scale we need to write a scale property so uh, uh, i need to write a one variable so double scale variable okay so i'm going to write here a scale variable so one minus controller dot value okay and i'm going to write here the scale variable and a child with a animated prop animated button ui okay so we just write our uh, button and one more thing guys we need to change uh, uh, the re red color okay so we need to write here a red color so 0 x 1 2 3 4 3 4 double 0 so this is the red color okay and we need to add one more zero so ff 40 and ff so this will be our gradient color so and okay so i'm going to 
so i am going to restart our app okay so here is our button but uh, the text property is not in a center so i am going to write this text into a center property okay so i'm going to write this property into center uh, i am going to restart it okay so here it is our but uh, text is in in the center but uh, still the button is not in the center okay so i am going to change the column so here it is a column so main axis alignment and main axis alignment into a center we need to change the alignment okay i am going to restart and here is our button and it will going to show you so here it is our animated button so i am going to click on this uh, bouncing button okay so here it is our bounce okay so thank you so much for watching this video guys and if you have any problem implementing this code you can comment down below guys and thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video